Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am just going to do this fall inspired look for you guys. I know it's been a, a long, long time. I feel like it's been like a year, but I know it's only been like a couple months since I've been on YouTube, but I'm going to try to get back into the swing of things and filming regularly. I tried to film yesterday, but of course the day I wanted to film, it decided it was going to rain. So I didn't get a chance to film yesterday, but I did definitely get a chance to film today, obviously. So I'm going to try to put this video up within the next couple of days. I always try to put it up the same day as I film because I'm totally off today, but lately I've just been like super busy with work, just super busy with like getting my apartment together and just kind of like collecting pieces here and there, just kind of enjoying my time. I don't really think I have much else to tell you, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to see how I got this fall inspired look, then please just keep watching. Thanks guys. Okay, so now that we got our music going, we are just going to prime the face with the NYX Pore Filler. And then I am going to just take some dots of my L'Oreal True Match in W4, I believe. And I'm just going to bounce this out with my Beauty Blender. Now that we are finished concealing all of those little blemishes and evening out the skin tone with foundation, I like to highlight and conceal the under eye circles with concealer and this is one of my favorite concealers right now. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. If you guys haven't tried it, I believe it. It's actually one of the best drugstore concealers that I've had. I think it's really great and it highlights the face beautifully. Now I'm just going to set the under eye area with this NYX Smooth Skin Powder and I just dust that all over the under eyes and on top of my lid and everywhere I pretty much highlight it. Now I'm going to take this L'Oreal True Match Powder. This is actually a face powder but I am way too light for this powder so I'm just going to use it as a bronzer to bronze the perimeter of my face so the temples, the cheekbone area, and a little bit under my chin. So as you can see I'm just kind of doing a double on the cheeks. I'm just kind of contouring just a little bit and then just buffing it out. Now we are on to blush and I'm going to use the MAC Hot Nights which came out last summer in the Temperature Rising collection I believe. But all I'm going to do is put that more on the backs of my cheeks than the apples of my cheeks. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to take is going to be the Camo shade, which is the second row on the bottom. And I'm just going to place this on the crease and then I'm just going to blend it up more as a like transition shade. As you can see, I blend it pretty much all over my lid. And then I take the vanilla shade out of the Anastasia Amrezy palette and I place that all over the lids. As you can see, I'm doing that right here. And then I take the Legend, I think it's either Legend or Legendary, but it's the first, the first one in the very top row. 
and I'm just taking that with this same brush and I'm just going to pop this in the inner corner. I start out with this Anastasia brush that came with the palette, but after I realized it wasn't packing on as much color as I wanted to, so as you can see here, I'm going in with this MAC brush. I'm not sure the number, but I will leave everything down below. Okay, so now I'm going to fill in my brows real quickly. You know, who has time to be sitting here watching an all-day brow tutorial? If you guys want an in-depth tutorial on my brows, then just let me know in the comments below and I will get one out for you guys. And I am just kind of playing around with my brows and now I'm going to go on to mascara. This is the CoverGirl Bombshell Mascara. The, I love the formulation of this. I just don't really like how big the wand is. I like poked my eye like twice because it was so big. But it's a really great mascara and my favorite one was floating around somewhere else and I couldn't find it. Alright, so the final step is going to be lips, and this is Milani's Plum Rose, and this lip liner is Jordana's Cabernet, and I just basically am outlining my natural lip shape first, and then I'm going to outline it a little bit more to make my lips look a little bit fuller. I'm basically overdrawing my lip shape, and I'm going to fill out the outer corners of my mouth but I definitely overdraw my top lips then my bottom lips and then I just basically put the Milani Plum Rose in the center of this. This is the final result of the look. I love the deeper, deeper purple lips for the fall time as most other people do, but I like to keep the eyes pretty simple. Um, I really have been loving this Anastasia, the um, Ambreezy palette. They came out with like three more palettes, but I have my hands on this one. I may get the other one if I can, but I really like these colors in here. I feel like if you didn't get the lavish palette, this is pretty similar to it. Um, but as far as I know, it was sold out. So, but I really have loved this. And there's, I mean, you can use any, you know, two, you know, warm tone brown and like a light shade. This is a very simple look to recreate. So, and you can use, you know, any lip combo. Rebel is very similar to this Milani. What is this? This is Plum Rose. So it's super, super similar, and then this Cabernet by Jordana is also extremely similar to Night Moth by MAC. Um, so I really enjoyed doing this look for you guys, and fingers crossed I get out some Halloween tutorials. Um, I wanted to do some Halloween tutorials for you guys, but I don't know what you would like to see. I've like thrown around a couple ideas, like Poison Ivy and Cinderella and some kind of like ghost bride or something like that. I'm not really into the whole scary, um, I'm not really into the whole like scary side of Halloween. I never really have been. I'm totally terrified of scary movies. You guys can ask anyone I know. I hate scary movies with a passion. I've just never really been a fan. So, and I also plan on doing a, I think it's a 50 random questions or 50 random facts about me. I think that would be really cool because I have a lot of stuff that I think you guys don't know about me, but for everybody who has continued supporting my channel, thank you so much for staying here with me and just waiting patiently on the videos. So, whew. oh, and also I lightened and cut my hair. It's now like a brownish blonde and it has like, it has, I feel like it has a little bit of like a warm tone in it like maybe like an orange a little bit but I went through this whole entire process and I finally got it like cut a little bit and I'm just like oh like the dead ends just needed to go so I'm so glad I got cut and now it's just kind of like 
fresh and I'm so excited. So really excited for this fall and winter and I hope you guys are too. So thank you so much for watching and until next time I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.